So what we're gonna do is that we want to frame this up and have a clean finish, correct? Mm -hmm. So now we know we have our back right here. Does anybody know where should we start? No. Shoulders. Shoulders, yes. But in the calendar state, since you have that extra, it's gonna get in the way. So what you really want to do is that you want on the calendar, on the calendar only, you want to start with your armhole and your neckline. So we're gonna start in the back. But since I don't want to put fusing whatsoever, I'm gonna use the paper I have and do a security stitch. Meaning that if I lined up my cut to my paper, it should fit perfectly, right? So this is gonna the paper is gonna become like my tarot. Remember I told you about that? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna become a secured stitch, so meaning that when I cut, uh, when I put the other one on top, I don't have it growing or any hookers or anything. So then I'm gonna try to get as, like in between the foot as I can, just a small stitch. Oh, so it helps like to make sure that everything is the color size. Yeah. yeah. So around it, making sure this space on the end. You see that? You guys can get closer. I don't mind. I'm not, not weird about my bubble. So you see how I'm lining it up? So don't worry if you go zigzagging. It's just a secure stitch, meaning that you won't see it. So you see that? It's still lining up. So you're not measuring it. You're just lining it up. To With the, the paper. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just to keep the paper on there. It's just to keep the shape of it and the size of it. You know how when you're going to do this to your armhole and your neck, and you see how it's, the paper is bubbling now, but it's mm -hmm. okay. It's okay because you know you're following the right size of the neck and the right size of the arm. So you see that? I just want to make sure. Let me see my nails. You just want to follow as close as the edges you can. You see that? You just want to make sure you pull it down. Don't worry about the reaction of the rest of the garment. You just want to focus on the line that you're sewing. Oops, sorry. See, I forgot. I <laughs> sorry. Okay. So you see that? Mm -hmm. So that would be your security stitch. Even though this is still mo moving, you know that this has the right shape and the right size. Mm -hmm. So then what happens is that either you can sew your facing on there already or you can take this off, meaning it's like tear away. See? That's what we call a tear away. And rip it off. And throw that away. Don't be afraid to pull the thread. It's fine. That's what it's there for. See? If you can't get all the fibers, it's okay. They come out eventually, see? And it stays that same shape. If I get in my pattern, it should be the same shape. Mm -hmm. So just take this off. Um, I'm gonna try to bring tear away next time because it's all it's a totally different consistency of paper. But if we don't have tear away, we use paper, so it's okay. Like you see how the thread got pulled a little? Don't be afraid to move it around so it can go back. There you go. So it stays the shape. See that? So don't worry about all this because since you sewed it so close, it should be fine and it shouldn't appear. So that's when you grab this puppy. And when you put it on here, even if it wants to move and grow, you know that this is a secure stick, a secure line. It won't grow or move the one on the bottom. 